Hey, Joe here. Although Aaron did a killer job on the intercooler piping on the car here, I still need to put a bead on the end of those pipes uh, so that the couplers hold good before I powder coat them. So I bought a tool to do that and I'm gonna give it a shot. I've never used it before. Uh, I did some research, it looked like a good one, so I grabbed it. It's the tool from Jegs and I'll show you how it works. This is the tool I bought from Jegs. It was about $150 and came in this nice case. Unfortunately, it did not come with any instructions. I decided to wing it as it seemed pretty self-explanatory how to mount this tool and install the crank handle. So the method I'm going to use with this thing is to get the tubing in the die here and then I'm going to tighten this down a little bit and turn, tighten it down a little bit and turn. I think that's probably going to work best but I'm going to give it a try on this test tubing. I tighten the die and turn the crank till the tube has traveled the full 360 degrees. Then I repeat until I have a nice strong bead on the tubing. Though it might even be too strong of a bead, it still fits the silicone couplers nicely, so I continue with my intercooler pipes. I had to adjust the orientation of the vise to accommodate the size and angle of the tubing. Next, I worked on the intercooler cold pipe. It needed a bead on both ends. And also another quick adjustment as the pipe found lots of things to bump into.
So that's how the JEG speed roller works. Seemed to work really good for me. Next is to get these pipes powder coated and then they're ready to be installed permanently on the car. So thanks for watching. Subscribe, share, and I'll see you guys next time. Put cheese on it.